Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to open up our City Life Playmobil school bus and it lights up. You can take the lid off and put the kids inside and it also comes with a driver figure. Let's push the button. You can already see the lights glowing. Before we can put some toys on the bus, we need to add a few missing stickers. Do you know what this is? It's the stop sign so the kids can cross in front of the bus safely. Here is the stickers that came with the bus. There's stop in English or in French, arrêt. We're going to put the English stop signs on the bus. One is for the front of the sign, and the second sticker is for the back of the sign. We also need to put a sticker on the front of our bus. It came with stickers saying school bus, or in French, écolier. We're going to use the English school bus sticker. Sometimes these stickers are hard to apply on straight the first time. We can do it over and over again until we get it right. Okay, our school bus is ready for our kids. Today we have Kitty, oh, and she just kicked the bus. And we have the Teletubbies. Okay, the stop sign is out. It is now safe to cross in front of the bus so you can get on Teletubbies. Tinky Winky rides in the front since he gets car sick and riding in the front makes it easier on his little tummy. Lala and Poe ride in the very back. Off to school we go. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we are visiting Mickey and Minnie at the Fly and Slide Clubhouse. They have some visitors that are arriving. Who is it? Oh, it's Poe. She's knocking on the door. Oh, hello Teletubbies. Mickey and I have been expecting you. Come on in. The Teletubbies have brought a special surprise for Mickey and Minnie today. It's in this purple bag. Ooh, brownie mix. The Teletubbies want to bake with Mickey and Minnie. But first, Mickey and Minnie are going to tour the Teletubbies around the clubhouse. There are so many fun activities to do. Who would like to ride in the airplane first? We have an airplane that goes all around the clubhouse. It's blue, red, and has a yellow propeller. Tinky Winky decides to go for the first ride. Whee! Minnie loves to sing, so Dipsy tries out her red microphone. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Ooh, Poe likes the big green slide. But where does it begin? Ah, there's a red platform. And then you go down, out, the yellow door, and down the green slide. Let's give it a try, Poe. Ready, set, go! Oh, Poe needs a little push. Mickey wants to turn too. Whee! And we have one more activity before we bake brownies. It's the purple seesaw. Dipsy goes on one side. And Lala 
goes on to the other side. A seesaw will only work if the two people are about the same weight. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're having a look at our Jack in the Box toy with Tinky Winky and Lala. I turn the handle, the music plays, and then eventually Jack pops out of the box. Whoa! Our Teletubbies went flying. Are you okay, Lala and Tinky Winky? Do you want to know how a jack-in-the-box works? He actually doesn't have any legs or feet. Underneath is a tube containing a spring. When we push Jack into the box, the spring compresses. We close the lid, and there's a little red latch that keeps the door from opening. Oh, sorry, Jack. Got your little hand caught in there. So now I'm going to turn the handle and there's a mechanism inside the box that causes the little red latch to move and the spring pops up and pushes Jack out of the box. Watch the red latch. Did you see how it moved back? And the door releases. This is what a spring looks like inside a pen. It's the same sort of idea. The spring pops the head of the pen out. Tinky Winky and Lala want to give it a try. They're going to go in the box with Jack. See you in a minute. Whoa! Let's watch that in slow motion. We'll try it one more time. The Teletubbies are still in the box. Oh, this time they didn't fly into the air. Oh, look who's come by to check out the box. Stay back, kitty. Oops, it's okay, kitty. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we are going to play mini golf on this beautiful course with waterfalls, ponds, and flowers. Here's a sign that says golf here. We have the Teletubbies toys coming along with us for the fun. There's Dipsy in the hole. There are 18 putting greens. I recently watched a show on the use of pesticides at golf courses. Pesticides can be harmful to us and to our bees. I will make sure I wash my hands thoroughly and my shoes after we play mini golf. For your first stroke, always place ball between logs to begin. And the second sign says, please do not attempt to drive the ball to the pin. It can create divots in the grass. Before we hit the ball, we always see what's up ahead. Is there a hill? Is there a bump? And where's the flag? That was a good shot. It landed close to my ball. Usually the person farthest from the hole gets to hit first, but our balls are so close together that I will go second.
Sometimes a course has challenges like a sand trap. It makes it hard to hit your ball out of it. Please do not putt from the sand trap. Place ball on green and take one penalty shot. Here is our first pond with a beautiful little stream and waterfall. There's also a little water fountain. I think I'll give my ball a clean. Oh, look who's having a little float. It's Lala. Ayo! We are on hole number 12, more than halfway through our game. There's another waterfall at the end of number 12, and someone's ball got hit into the stream. The next hole has thorny blackberries. The berries are still green, which means they aren't ripe enough to pick or eat. Now we are at hole number 15. We have three more holes after this, and then we're all finished. I line up my ball between the logs. Here is the last waterfall. We get to walk underneath it on the way out. There's a lot of algae growth and it's created a beautiful design on the surface of the pond. Hole number 18, the final hole. My ball is lined up. Do you see the flag? We're all done, Poe. Now we get to walk under the waterfall. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We continue our trip in Europe. And we have the Teletubbies toys ready to go into the race cars riding down the ramp because we constructed some cars at Legoland Berlin. We're going to show you very soon what we constructed. The Teletubbies will ride down the red ramp. Poe has a red car, but where is it? It's hiding behind the blue door. It's red just like Poe. Let's head to the Legoland Discovery Center, and then at the end, we'll watch the Teletubbies ride down their ramp. Here we are, the Legoland Berlin Discovery Center. We left off in the little Lego village, where there's actually a moving train, moving cranes, and monuments. This is the Brandenburg Gate, it was built in 1791. We actually visited the real monument. There are four green horses right on the top. It's one of the most visited monuments in Germany. Here is the Berlin Wall when it was taken down. And right behind is the Reichstag building which means the Parliament Building. This is another popular monument that tourists like to go visit. On top is the German flag. The German flag has three stripes, black on top, red in the middle, and yellow on the bottom. Every country has their very own flag. This was another opportunity to take a picture. Back at Legoland, we push buttons to make part of the Lego pieces move. And here's a Lego model of the Welt Balloon. It's a huge balloon that can take people up 150 meters in the air and they can get a beautiful view of Berlin. We saw it way up in the sky. It was too far away to see if there was people inside. 
let's watch a little more of the fireworks show. Fireworks come in all different shapes and colors. Here's the train station. There are lots of trains in Europe that are underground. Oh, some people missed the train. These workers are building a new track. After we look at the tiny Lego village, we move on to find a playground and a climbing wall. And finally, a place to build a car and race it down a ramp. Tiny Treasures Mini is using big tires. There are many different tables with big red bowls full of Lego. You can make it whatever color and size you want. Here's my car. Big wheels in the back, smaller in the front. Once Tiny Treasures Mini is done, we will race our cars together against each other. There are three silver lanes. There's even a spot for tiny treasures. Ready, set, go! Oh, they didn't make it to the end. Let's try another ramp. At the end of our tour, we go to the Lego factory where we learn how Lego is made. We didn't take our cameras inside, but I'll show you the piece we were given at the end of the factory tour. It was a nice little souvenir to take home. It says Fabrique, Legoland Discovery Center. Fabrique is German for factory. Now it's time for our Teletubbies to race down the ramp like our Lego cars. Here goes Poe! And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies are on a boat. I see Lala, Dipsy and Tinky Winky. But where's Poe? She's not in there. Ah, oh, there she is. She's sitting on top of the boat. We're going to have fun with many different colors of bouncy balls today and they're going to go down the slide of the boat. Here's our big jar full of different color bouncy balls. Oh look, the bright blue one matches the back of our set. Oops! These are fairly small bouncy balls. We have a great big one. It's green, yellow, and white swirly colors. If you look in a jar, do you see a bouncy ball that's not like the others? It's way at the bottom. Let me get it out. Oh, oops! They spilled everywhere. I don't want to lose any. And poor Lala got knocked down. There we go, Lala. This bouncy ball was mine when I was a child. I loved the glitter inside. Rainbow glitter. I'm going to drop each color of bouncy ball down the hole and it'll roll down the ramp. Say the colors with me. Purple. Green. Red, orange, blue, and yellow. Now let's put all of them down at one time. What happened? Well, Lala got knocked down again. Only one of the balls made it down. The blue one is in the tunnel. And the red, purple, yellow, and orange 
got stuck. Let's try it one more time and see what happens. This time, two of the balls made it down and only three got stuck. Now let's put the big bouncy ball down the hole. Will it get stuck? Let's have a look. Oh, didn't make it very far. It's too big for this toy. Let's try a bouncy ball slightly smaller. It's black with silver glitter. It worked! It was just the right size. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies toys are camping outdoors with our Playmobil camper van. Let's open up the top and have a look inside. There's a little blue table and chair set. And there's a set of stairs to go up where they can store some toys, the toilet, and it's clean. Tinky Winky and I are looking for something. Some small dry twigs. What do you think we're going to use them for? Tiny Treasures and Tiny Treasures Mini are also helping me look for twigs. We are going to build a campfire today so that we can roast marshmallows for s'mores. Here are the sticks that we use for the marshmallows. Our campfire is lit and here are a few simple rules to follow tiny fans. Never play around a fire. Never pull sticks out of a fire. And make sure an adult is always supervising you around a campfire. Fire is very hot and can burn us, and smoke isn't good to breathe in either. Poppy is very smart, and he knows that fire is hot, so he stays far away. It's time to open the marshmallows and start to roast them. If we can open the bag, it's quite difficult. There we go. The metal roasting sticks have sharp pointy ends, so we must be careful putting our marshmallow on. And we also make sure we don't point it towards anybody. We hold the marshmallows right above the fire. It's important not to burn the marshmallow. A burnt marshmallow is very unhealthy to eat. So we want it to be a nice golden brown color. Tiny Treasures Mini is doing a very good job of standing far away from the fire. As we're waiting for the marshmallows to roast, we get our graham crackers ready with the chocolate. We need to be very careful not to drop any on the ground because Puppy is close by, hoping to grab one. Not for you, Puppy. Oops, Tiny Treasures Mini accidentally burned our marshmallows. Maybe I will try roasting one. I know the fire is very hot, so we have to turn our marshmallow quite a few times. After a few minutes, my marshmallow burned too. Oh dear, I'm going to throw this one in the fire. Let's give it one more try. We're gonna hold our marshmallows a little farther away from the fire this time, where it's less hot. Perfect. We finally have a marshmallow for our s'more. Mmm, such a yummy treat. 
even the Teletubbies toys enjoyed their schmore. Oh, oh, chocolate face. Make sure you don't wipe on your sleeve and you use a napkin. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies are visiting a magical castle. And there's the big dragon. She's having a rest. Let's go inside the castle and see what the Teletubbies are going to do today. There's Poe way up high. Oh boy, the Teletubbies are going to have a party in the castle with snacks, pizza, and of course cake. And even the furry dragon gets a special treat today. <laughs> it looks like the dragon has come inside to look for more treats. After the Teletubbies eat all of their pizza and cake, they get a special board game that belongs to the castle. And once they make it to the end, a special surprise comes out. And here it comes now. This is one of the beautiful rainbow unicorns that live in the castle. She has a sparkly rainbow horseshoe on the back of her body. And I see red in her mane, just like Poe, purple like Tinky Winky, green like Dipsy, and yellow for Lala. Nay! And here comes a second unicorn Teletubbies. She has a pink sparkly mane and beautiful purple flowers. Even her hoofs are sparkly. She has two purple flowers with green vines. Her name is Rose. <laughs> Both unicorns go outside to say hi to the dragon. The Teletubbies and Nunu meet one more creature of the castle. It's the castle cat. His name is Harry Potter. Meow. Meow. Well, that's enough adventure for one day. Time to go home. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies are at the circus. And guess who's coming to watch the circus as well? It's Kitty. She never misses one of our shows. Have a seat, Kitty. We need to continue our video. Look up, Teletubbies. The first act is a little mouse that runs on a wheel to make the parrot go back and forth. And now, the dancing dogs. The Teletubbies go explore the circus tent. It is important for the Teletubbies to meet the ringleader of the circus to ensure the animals in the show are being treated fairly. And we do not support the use of elephants in a show. They deserve to be in the wild where they belong. Lala and Poe discovered an eight ball. Do you know why it's called an eight ball, says the monkey? Because it has the number eight on it. You can ask it a question and it'll answer it for you. The 
Teletubbies are wondering if the show is over. Let's see what the eight ball says. The eight ball answers no, N-O. So Poe and Lala go back to the seating area to watch the show. Hey, look, it's Dipsy and Tinky Winky. They're gonna be part of the show. What are they going to do? Dance, of course. Dipsy and Tinky Winky were doing so well dancing, but all of a sudden, Dipsy took a fall. He got really embarrassed and went backstage to hide. Dipsy, it's okay to make mistakes. Everybody makes them. You were doing such a wonderful job. Please come back and finish the dance. Dipsy came back and finished his routine with Tinky Winky. And at the end, everybody cheered and clapped. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today the Teletubbies have a special guest. But first we need to find out where Lala is. Here comes Lala now, arriving on the yellow taxi. She was fishing all day. Do you know how to spell the word taxi? It's T-A-X-I. So Lala, did you catch anything fishing? A bright silver fish. Perfect for dinner. It's time for the special guests to arrive. But first the Teletubbies are having lunch on the Tubby Custard Train. The guest pulls up in a blue and white car. Do you know who it is? It's Dipsy's brother. Ayo! Everyone welcomes Dipsy's brother. His name is Pipsy. He's going to make tubby custard for the Teletubbies. I think that's enough tubby custard, Pipsy. It's time to ride the train. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to learn about compost with the Teletubbies. And who's this? Kitty's talking to us. Hi Kitty. She just wants a few pets. The bucket says compost. C O M P O S T Oh, kitty, you're not supposed to be on the countertop. Let's get you down. She wants a lot of attention right now. But we're in the middle of our video, kitty. Let's get back to our compost. We'll open up the bucket. Have a look inside. There's lots of food. And this is a black filter. It keeps the smell inside the bucket. We have some banana peels. And there's some crust from a toast. These are coffee grounds. And there's all sorts of other fruits and vegetables that are gonna break down. We'll give Kitty a little more attention before we go outside to the big compost bucket and see our worms. Everyone hop on. Let's see if we can balance the Teletubbies on the top of the bucket. We have to be very careful. Oops, oh, let's lie down so no one falls off. Here's our big compost bucket. It's full of dirt and worms. There's one now. 
It can't be in the sun, so we must keep it in the shade. We're going to shovel out some of our dirt. And we'll put it in this big bucket. We're going to put some of the dirt in our garden today. And who smells the compost? Puppy. He loves the smell of compost. There's a great big fat worm. These are red worms. They break down our food and make them into dirt. We need to crush all of our eggshells. They add nutrients to the soil and help our plants grow. Let's transfer all of our worms into this bucket. They need a little bit of dirt. The reason we remove all of the worms is because we don't want them going in the garden. We want to keep them in our compost bucket so they can continue breaking down our food scraps. Look at all the worms we've already collected. We have to dig and dig, find as many worms as we can. We're ready to dump our dirt into the garden. Let's spread it out and make sure we didn't leave any worm behind. It's now time to dump our fresh food scraps into our big compost bucket. There, we've emptied our bucket and now we gotta clean it out. Oh my, the Teletubbies have gotten into our worm bucket. They're climbing all over the Teletubbies. Well, thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we arrived at the Legoland Hotel and the first thing we see is a huge pool of Lego that the kids can play in while mom and dad check into the hotel. It looks like they're building a Lego chimney with a surfer on top. I see reds, yellows, oranges, greens, blues, whites. Now that we're checked in, it's time to go to the elevator. This whoopee cushion makes funny sounds when you step on it. Ooh, look at the characters on the wall of the elevator. We're on floor number two. And as soon as the doors of the elevator shut, the dance party begins and the strobe light starts to change colors. We all have a little dance in the elevator. We have a pirate themed room. This is the kids section where Tiny Treasures and Tiny Treasures Minnie will sleep. There's treasure on the walls, golden keys, and all different Lego characters on the walls. There's the pirate ship. And here are the bunk beds where Tiny Treasures and Tiny Treasures Minnie will sleep. Looks like the Teletubbies are having a little nap on the bottom bunk. Tiny Treasures was playing with the Build-A-Bear workshop clothes. You'll see that in a future video where we build our bear. I see more treasure on the carpet. There's a crab. And here's the bathroom. My favorite room in the hotel. It looks like there's a window and the shower curtain has a Lego shark with a pirate. And there's a mermaid. Is anyone having a shower? Oh, it's the Teletubbies. They're sitting in the soap dish. And look who's joining you in the shower, Teletubbies. It's a little Lego man. We just won him in a treasure hunt. We'll show you what we did to earn this prize. He's going for a little fish. Here's the big room in the hotel with the big pirate bed. I see Lego butterflies made out of tons of Lego pieces. And there's Lego land. And there's even Lego guys on the roof of the hotel. What's that guy doing? And here's our hotel treasure hunt I was telling you about. We needed to find torches on the castle, Lego flower pots, 
magicians, and palm trees. The Teletubbies are standing on the box that contained the treasure. It has a monkey on top and we put our hats on the monkey's head. This says Rainforest Cafe. That's where we visited today. And inside the safe, if you get all of the numbers correct, it opens up and a special prize is inside. So we found the flower pots by the reception desk. We found the magician. The palm trees made out of Lego on the deck. And here's the castle with the torches. We managed to find all of the clues. We put the right combination into the safe and opened the door and found our prize. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We're at Universal Studios today. We're about to enter through the gates. Look, there's a picture of Shrek and that's a Shrek 4D movie. And here's Harry Potter World. Look at the big train. It's called the Hogwarts Express. And it's the train that takes Harry Potter to the castle. Let's take a walk down Harry Potter World. There's all sorts of cute little buildings, little shops, and lots to see in the windows. And there's the castle. There's a ride inside. Let's take a look inside one of the shops. This is Honeyduke's candy shop. Look, there's pink fluffy cotton candy in the window. Mmm, one of the giant chocolate frogs. It even has a collector card of one of the characters inside. There's so much to see. They even have every flavor beans. And some of them don't taste very good. Tinky Winky has spotted something. They're chocolate wands. Let's go over to the counter and see what else they have. Mmm, chocolate and caramel covered apples. Our favorite. We're going to pick one treat today. That might be it. What else do they have in here? There's some chocolate skeletons. And these are called pumpkin pasties. There's some cakes. And some puddings with candies on top. Well, it's time to eat our treat. We can't wait. Thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.